In this video, I'm going to show you all outcomes and endings to the quest Canid's Cradle in the Outer Worlds. For the sake of this video, I'm going to assume that both factions are still alive when you complete the quest Radio Free Monarch. There are four different endings that we will explore in this video. Canid's Cradle begins at the end of the quest Radio Free Monarch when a UDL gunship plummets from the sky. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. The first quest objective is to head to the crash site and retrieve the targeting module. The quickest way to reach the crash site is to fast travel to Terra 1 publications, which you should have already visited during the Iconoclast quest, Pay for the Printer. The area around the crash site is crawling with raptodons and mantasaurs. You can either fight your way to the ship or use the tall grass to sneak past all the enemies. Then simply eject the keycard from the terminal, open the door, and go inside to get the targeting module. Again, there are four main ways that you can complete this quest. So for starters, let's head to Stellar Bay and give the targeting module to Sanjar and the MSI. Excellent! At last we have what we need. I wouldn't get excited just yet, sir. It looks like the Iconoclasts followed you. I have word they're gathering in the ruins outside of town. Once you turn the module over to Sanjar, the Iconoclasts will begin moving troops towards Stellar Bay. It will be your job to fight through the Iconoclasts and push forward to eliminate Zora and Graham, who are holed up in an abandoned church outside Stellar Bay. Moving on the job! One order of second fan coming up. Here's a little trick I learned in prison. With the Iconoclast leadership dead, you can return to Sanjar to report the news. You're back! <laughs> and in one piece! <laughs> Does this mean you, I, I mean we, won? We did indeed, sir. I can't believe it! Not that I'm really surprised, but... Well, maybe a little. You did it! I mean, we did it! This outcome gives MSI unimpeded power over Monarch. You will not have to clear Amber Heights for this quest, but there will still be some Iconoclasts living there. So if you return there later, just know that they will be hostile. Our second option is to side with the Iconoclasts by giving the targeting module to Graham Bryant in Amber Heights. The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? At last. Now we must secure the Stellar Bay landing pad. We will fortify the city against the board's assault. Great. We're about to create mass chaos and mayhem. My two favorite things. And you, Captain. Are you prepared? No. Our hearts have long since closed to one another. He is blinded by his love for bureaucracy. This is it. Let us save this planet once and for all. Meet our forces in the ruins south of the city. Come prepared. Sanja is sure to go down swinging. Once you give the module to Graham, the Iconoclast will begin attacking Stellar Bay, and this time, you'll be joining the fight. Just proceed along the road and defeat a few different groups of MSI soldiers along the way. Once you get near Stellar Bay, you will see Sanjar and the remaining MSI troops defending the gate. Finish them off, and the Battle of Stellar Bay will be won for the Iconoclasts.
then simply returned to Graham to report the news. I thought this would be easier. Sanjar's death is surprisingly heavy on my conscience after all this time. But I mustn't let that distract me from our victory. We can now take our truth to the stars, Captain, and I have you to thank for that. This outcome gives the Iconoclast control of Stellar Bay and Amber Heights, allowing them to spread their philosophist message to the rest of the colony. The third option is to negotiate peace between the MSI and the Iconoclasts. This will require some additional legwork to set up. First, let's talk to Sanjar to get his thoughts about peace. They're all mad. And what's more, they left us. I don't see any way for us to work together. Ugh, not this again. He doesn't believe that peace can be achieved while Graham still leads the Iconoclasts, but he can be convinced to negotiate with Zora if she is in power instead. Supposing you're right, who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. Zora was formerly an employee of Rizzo's, and her review can be found in Cascadia on an old terminal. Cascadia was formerly a Rizzo's facility, but has since been abandoned by the corporation. It is now overrun by marauders, raptodons, and mantisaurs, so tread carefully. Once you've retrieved the review, you can bring it back to Sanjar and convince him to go to the bargaining table. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. Well, it seems like she, uh, she's actually very qualified. I wasn't expecting to say this, but if you can put her in charge and convince her to agree to a meeting, I'd be willing to discuss terms. Now you just need to put Zora in charge of the Iconoclasts. Head to Amber Heights and speak with Zora in the triage unit. She will confide in you that she is unsatisfied with Graham's leadership and that something about the Amber Heights massacre is bugging her. Appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, it give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. She gives you an old passcode and asks you to look for any evidence of what happened in Amber Heights 10 years prior. Side note, this quest will only be available if you rescued the Van Noys during the quest Pay for the Printer. This was an optional objective during that quest, but if you failed to do it, Zora will not give you this quest. Nice day, huh? The Monarch, anyway. Gonna need to buy myself an entire Rizzo plant after all this. Once you reach the abandoned relay station, you'll find the area crawling with mantisaurs. Either kill them, or sneak past to reach the terminal. Then use the code to access the building. Inside, you will find the data cartridge, which you can bring back to Zora. Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain. He gave them the gate codes. Look, I need to think. Plan. Figure out if I should... Talk to him or shoot him. Or both. Just don't give him the module yet. Give me a little time. I'll meet you at his place. The quickest way to advance the quest from here is to fast travel out of Amber Heights and then fast travel back. When you return, Zora will be waiting to go confront Graham. Speak with her and tell her that you will support her against Graham. I'm going to confront him. Can I count on your support? Okay. Deep breaths. This is what's best, Sora. Time to save Monarch. Captain, you must be back with the access codes to our new ship. 
Graham, we need to talk. We have work to do. This isn't the time for one of our spats. Stand down? I'm afraid I don't understand, Captain. You're running the Iconoclast into the ground, and I don't believe it'll get better after we take Stellar Bay. The troops take orders from me already, and you've... You've brought me as far as you can down the Eternal Path. It's time to step down. I built this movement from the ground up. I've brought freedom to Monarch, and all these years later we're still free. I joined because I believed that you were in it for the Iconoclasts. That you wanted nothing more than to bring freedom to Halcyon. That you were selfless. But... I know the truth now, Grim. I know what happened in Amber Heights. You didn't start this movement because you wanted to save us. You wanted to save yourself. No. I'm sorry. I believed in you once. I did. But it's over. Stand down. I won't. What happened back then was a mistake, and the colony has moved on. This is my movement. These are my people. If you want to lead them, you'll have to kill me. Please, don't make me do this, Graham. If this is where my path ends, I accept it. But as long as I draw breath, I will not abandon them. So be it. Here they come! Come down! No matter which dialogue options you choose here, Graham will not step down peacefully, forcing you and Zora to kill him. With Graham out of the way, you can speak to Zora about negotiating with the MSI. I've thought about it, but I think we're too far gone. Pulling Carlotta's support was crossing a line. You know, Captain, I never thought about that. Maybe he could be taught the eternal truth. Spread the message from within the corporations. All right, if he's willing to talk, I'll give him a chance. Next, you will head to the abandoned church outside Stellar Bay to oversee the negotiations. Now the dialogue here can play out in a few different ways. You can either nudge Zora further to compromise, or nudge Sanjar further to compromise instead. Either way, both parties will agree to peaceful cooperation. If you're willing to house and supply some of us, I'll have our more capable soldiers help out. As am I. Oh, I can feel my blood pressure lowering already. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, Sanjar. I, uh, guess I'll see you at Stellar Bay. Gotta be honest, Captain. Never thought I'd see the day. You've done a good thing for Monarch here. This will complete the quest, and you won't need to turn over the targeting module. You can head to Stellar Bay afterwards to get Zora and Sanjar's opinions of the new partnership between the MSI and the Iconoclasts. Quite well, as a matter of fact. Zora is proving most capable. You should see the way she bounds the table and gets straight to the point. It makes for some rather exhilarating meetings. I know I had my concerns initially, but your instincts were right. Zora and her compatriots have become valuable and productive members of our community. And since we're back in the board's good graces, we've got real growth prospects to look forward to. They're fine. They harass one another. Stooge this, fanatic that. It's all in good fun. No blood yet. Fuck no. But I'm not working under him. I'm working with him for the safety of my people. Big difference, Captain. Now there is a fourth way to complete this quest, and that is to give the targeting module to Zora once she is in power. After Graham is dead, you don't have to bring MSI and the Iconoclast to the bargaining table you can still turn over the targeting module to either Zora or Sanjar. You got the... Void, help me. I'll never remember what that thing is called. The device from the ship. Do you have it? Glad to have you on our side, Captain. I'll need a moment to prepare before I send the troops out. I'm sure you'll see them on the road. Good luck. If you give it to Zora, the quest plays out pretty much the exact same way as if Graham were in power. However, at the end of it, 
Zora will be the last leader standing instead. This opens up some unique dialogue. We've done it. We're it. We are Monarch now. Halcyon isn't going to know what hit them. I... I wish Graham were here to see this. You don't have to tell me that. It just feels strange, is all. Anyway, we need to lick our wounds. Settle in. Meditate. I'm not sure. A lot of resting. At some point, we'll figure out how we're going to spread the word to the rest of the colony. That's a ways off yet. For once, Captain, I don't really got a plan. So yes, I'm going to take a breather, focus my thoughts, and find some enlightenment. So there you have it. These are all the outcomes to the quest Canid's Cradle in the Outer Worlds. I personally prefer to negotiate peace between the MSI and the Iconoclasts, but it was fun to explore all the options for the purposes of this video. So who did you side with during this quest? Let me know in the comments below. I post videos on the Outer Worlds, Elder Scrolls, and Fallout games, so if you like that type of content, be sure to subscribe for more. We'll see you soon folks, this has been Big Dan. See ya!